Hi, this is Miranda from My Scrappy Life, and welcome back to my channel. This is the Paw Your Way to Your Heart. I am so glad I am back. I have not done one of these in forever, and it is for our puppers, Becca, um, Rebecca Lockhart, over on her channel, and then MK is doing this monthly. They've been holding down the fort. I am finally officially done with college, and now I can play. So I figured, since I haven't been playing in a while, I kind of made it up for a twofer. So I've got two layouts together. I will link up in the corner over here the two-page spread layout that I found from um, Pinterest. It goes right into um, scrapbook.com, and it's Serendipity Sketch 150. And it's got two photos on this side, but I'm making it to where there's three here, but it's like two, it's like it got two bunches, and then it's got four here, but I don't have enough, like I wanted it balanced, so I figured we could make this my title, and then kind of go from there. So the collection I am using, um, for me it's new, I think it's new this year, but I could totally be wrong. It's called um, Santa Paws, and it's the dog version of this, and it is from Photo Play. So I did end up getting this because... The photos that I am using right here are, again, like I have said with my photographing, I photograph a year behind, and these photos were actually two years ago, and I'm now finally getting to them because I did not realize I didn't put these in with my December documented for last year. So these are going to go into my um, book for when I was for 2020 okay this is 2022 2021 this was the 2020 um christmas this is when it's going to go in because my husband yes left in 2020 came back in 21 and this is what happened so there we have that um but that is the photos he actually had a boo-boo um kaylin was playing outside with him they were running around our flower bed and he actually got kind of right where this photo is right here he got a good gouge and he actually ended up getting um three stitches and so he had to wear the cone of shame but i realized that if i put this on him to get this to heal if you can see it we took a pair of leggings cut it and fit it over it so that he didn't uh, lick on his uh the stitches he laid there and acted just as bad as if he had Dakota Shame on. So it worked out perfectly in the end. So this was the night before I could get into the vet clinic. Um, so we wrapped him up, got him all taken care of. And I had a good friend come over and help me out because I wrapped him just like a human. But I wanted to make sure that there was nothing wrong with um, his cut because I wasn't used to puppies quite yet at that time. So let's see how this will turn out. All right, so here we get started. Um, I did put up above the two-page spread, like I said I would. Um, so what I did was is that I am using the photo um, photo paper fo or photo play paper, and um, I thought that this would be a cute little uh, layout or two-page spread to a situation that typically normally never happens in my household. Um, we're always pretty, you know, cautious and everything. Um, I mean, even my daughter doesn't knock on every wood possible. Even my daughter doesn't even have st has stitches yet. So we've always been pretty safe in the household. But, you know, it happens. It is what it is. So I am going to follow this um, very closely, except for the way, um, except for how they added all of the embellishment type stuff. I wasn't feeling or the jibe of having like four by four papers just on the background it looked weird to me so you'll see how I kind of changed that part up but all of the other pieces to this layout or to this sketch I follow closely and that's what I do love about um, sketches and all of that stuff as well as you guys know um, down below is the link to my very first um, kit if you purchased the class bundle all of my classes are available and my videos to the layouts are available um for you to look at at every at any time so make sure you go check that out also make sure that you go check out 
Um, everybody listed down below, they all are doing holiday or they should be doing all of holiday themed. Um, that's kind of like what we decided um, to do. And we actually have a new person joining us, um, Janet Fritz is also joining us so um it's becca and i started it and then mk came along and now we have janet so i'm super excited for that so um make sure that you go check out everybody that's linked down below also make sure that um you go check out my group as well i will post it down there i am going to start my um, holiday or my monthly virtual crops here in January. I have it set up to where I have all month to get you guys prepped and ready to roll. So come on in and join. Um, I do post quite a bit of like everything, but everybody is available to post on there. And then I can't wait to get my first virtual um, crop on the way. It is um, free for everybody. It will have a schedule and I've got Zoom meets for the weekend and all of that fun stuff, um, all of the lives and the challenges, um, if they're going live or if there's challenges, will be in the group itself. And then um, I will have a Zoom link for everybody that um, wants to just kind of hang out and have fun while the challenges are going on. So make sure that you go like and subscribe um, to my channel and then go um, get yourself on Facebook if you are on that platform, I would love to have you part of my um, amazing group on there. And yeah, so I am just going through, and like I said, I do like to do this detail. It's like one of my favorite part of my details on this. And I do, um, what I do is, is that I know that this is that white space that I was telling you. I didn't have enough photos, but you'll see how I like add this stuff to it. I thought I was going to use this piece and then I change it up. You'll see me change that out and then you'll see me how I hide. Um, I had to move that red paper over a little bit. I didn't make my striped one long enough or wide enough, I should say. And so I'll fix it here um, once you see me take that piece off. I do put the date in because I'm hoping, God willing, that this is the only time I'll ever have to get this boy stitches. I mean, in a sense. So, um... I'm just putting everything together and I'm making sure that I've got all my embellishment pieces and I kind of add the embellishment pieces to where the sketch looks like and um, that type of like that type of setting. So um, like I said, I'm just adding um, little just little trinkets here and there. Um, at first I kept looking at how am I going to hide this? How am I going to hide that piece? And then it just came together. Um, off camera, I go and get some ribbon, and the ribbon, I think, is from, God, is this, it's either close to my heart or Stampin' Up. I think it's Stampin' Up. Yeah, it's Stampin' Up, the silver piece that I'm using right here. So I just tie it and kind of just stick it off to the side a little bit and just get it to where you can see everything. Um, I'm grateful that I do have a newer, um, gooseneck I guess for filming so that I can put everything on camera because anytime I would always do these goofy two-page layouts that I barely do um I would always be like I can't get everything on camera and all of that so um I ended up getting a, a couple new pieces of equipment towards here at the end because I knew I'd be doing a lot more filming and whatnot and then I changed the bottom part of my desk until I can get the Ikea pieces um they've just been out of stock and I'm about ready to just to be honest I'm about ready to fly over to Europe and get them shipped over to me at this point I mean good lord I'm like if Ikea can get their stuff their poop in a group over seas in Europe I don't understand why the U.S. can't get it Ugh. these pieces are they're, they're never gonna go away with these certain pieces and I'm like come on y'all like get yourself together um, but I'm just adding, and then that's it. I do come in with some splatters. A ton of still shots are at the end. Make sure that you go like and subscribe to the channel. Check out my group and go check everybody else out. They'll be all linked down below. I hope that you guys are all having a wonderful day. Stay safe, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.